and then I'm going to slide this in to the rod tube. Now this rod tube is 32 inches. So you can actually pack this rod tube in the overhead of your airline flight um, and take it as a personal item. Now I'm traveling with a one-year-old this year, so I don't have that luxury. So I'm actually going to put this inside of my bag. So it's really come down to the wire here for me, I'm trying to catch a fish on this traveler rod. It's not actually um, anything to do with the rod. It's just really my my skill level um, with saltwater fishing. I don't really know what I'm doing. So everything is trial by error. And I did catch some reef fish with it. I'll show you some pictures of those. But we're going after some jacks, some game fish, something that um, will give us a little bit of a fight. So. We're headed to the spot now, right at sunset, and we'll see if we can't catch into a papillo, or a lua, or maybe even a coolie. So, we're about to head out there and get after it. Absolutely beautiful sunset over Maui. I have my TFO traveler rod here. It's a seven foot medium, three piece. I've got a little hook and a squid strip, which is stuck to my finger. So hook and squid. And then below that, I've got a weight slip sinker Carolina rig with a swivel. And we're gonna cast it out here. I also brought a uh, local guy named John John's uh, dunking pole. So we've got a little shrimp on the Barbie there. I'm gonna go over here and start making some casts. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that gorgeous sunset right there. Holy man. What are you trying to get? A coolie. We'll see. I don't know. It's a good time. Yeah. Got something? Oh, it came off! Oh. Felt good. Dang! Big bite. Oh, yeah. oh, I just got bit there, guys. Just felt like a ton of weight. I lost it. Ah, what a bummer. I'll just talk a little bit about the benefits of this rod, besides obviously the uh, portability of it. Um, being that it's a three piece and all the advantages that come with that when you're trying to get on a plane, um, it's very well balanced. I can't tell you one time that this rod has felt any different than my one pieces at home. Um, very balanced in the hand with a standard spinning reel. You could probably even fit a bigger one on here and it'd be okay. Um, and I'm just using my standard braid from home and tying up some fluorocarbon. 
um, but in general, a very balanced rod. Nice cork grip, beautiful color, it matches the ocean, and uh, I could not be any happier with the way this, this feels in the hand for a three-piece rod. Um, I haven't had a single piece come apart on this rod. Um, all the ferrules stay tight, just like all of their fly rods, which, you know, I'm hucking around big weight here. I'm hucking around three quarter ounce. I'm hucking around an ounce and it is held strong the entire time. Um, whatever I just hooked into, uh, felt like a little bit more decent fish and then it, it must've let go or, or got off. But, um, you know, it felt, it felt a little bit better. Um, you know, in terms of a fish and the rod seemed to handle it really well. I actually didn't even realize for a second that I was hooked up because uh, the balance and everything felt still very similar, um, even with that extra weight on there. So not 100% sure what it was. Could have been an eel, a um, bunch of things in here that you could accidentally, you know, hit on the fin or something. So who knows what it was specifically, but um, I'm hoping we'll we'll hook up here. We still got a little bit of time left. I'll probably fish into dark, so we've got a little bit to go here still. Reeling it in pretty good. Trying to bounce it a little bit. Trying to keep it close to the bottom giant turtle right here holy look at this turtle guys dang big turtle yeah big one all right the sun has gone down on the last day in maui don't have too much longer to get it done here we're gonna try we got some night diving going on out here <laughs> beautiful evening tide is high tide is pretty high should be fish moving into these rocks should have had a chance at a dakuli already blew it had one hooked up one something hooked up whatever i hooked did not feel like an akuli ah Cooley or something was chasing me there. There we go. Got one. Got one. Yes, baby. Yes. Yes, baby. Yes. Come on. Come on. What do I got? A cooley. A cooley. A cooley. <laughs> there it is, baby. I got a cooley. <laughs> yes, baby. Right at the end of the trip, daddy catches an a cooley. <laughs> Would you look at that, baby? Oaks, right at the end of the wire, and a coolie on the shrimp late at night. Finally made it happen here. That's a nice size eater right there. We are going to take that one home. Oh, man. I could not be more happy with that a coolie catch on the TFO Traveler Rod. Absolutely phenomenal oh what a sweet catch <laughs> a coolie oh, you can't see me but look at the glow of maui behind me what an amazing fish just caught it on the traveler rod could not be more happy <laughs> got my first a coolie of the trip All right, baby. So what I'm doing is I'm tying on this um, flasher bomb. It's, it's a version of a hammer bomb, which is basically like an egg weight. Doesn't sink as fast as lead does, um, but it's got like lights in it. And anytime it moves, oh, that's my coolie. I was like, what is that? Um, anytime it moves, it lights up. 
All right, I think we're ready for the water. I can see this thing light up. A little bit of a strobe effect here. That's legit. <laughs> that was cool to see. All right, we're gonna let that sink. There's another. Oh. Ah. Oh, I got hammered. I had one and I lost it. Got one. I definitely have one. Guess what? Two a coolie. <laughs> Boys and girls, your boy has done it again. A coolie number two. <laughs> two a coolie. Right there, baby. <laughs> John John's gonna be eating some good coolie tonight. There's one, got another, got another baby. Got a freaking another one. Dude, insane, insane. How is this happening? This one feels better. Dang, this one feels better. Come on baby, don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off baby. Don't come off. Oh yeah, this one feels good. This one feels good. Please don't come off. 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 Don't come off. I don't know if this is an Akuli. This feels better. That's an Akuli. Oh my goodness, dude. How is this happening? Look at this fish. That's my biggest Akuli yet, right there. How is this happening? Absolutely phenomenal. I can't believe it. You gotta get this bait down. You gotta let it sink. That's a big part of it, is letting it sink. And then the other half of it is kind of reeling slowly enough for those Akuli to catch it and see it, but also, Letting it sink all the way to the bottom. Back at the hotel, I have my Akuli here. They're not the biggest fish in the world, but this is a gallon zip bag. Um, these are bait fish here in Hawaii, and uh, they're beautiful. They have great colors, uh, some greens and yellows. Um, <clears throat> what I learned last time and this time is that there's not much to do to clean these fish. Um, you just cut out uh, all of their intestinal organs and just kind of gut them. And then uh, essentially you're gonna fry them like that, skin on, um, head on, eyes, whole nine. So I'm gonna leave it this way. Um, and then that way, the person that I'm giving it to, um, hopefully he'll be able to prepare them however uh, the Hawaiians typically prepare them. So uh, I'm gonna leave these four in the bag here. And I'm gonna give them to him just like this. But beautiful fish, you can see the yellow here, the green, these giant eyeballs. And yeah, I just cut them down the belly and cleaned them out. So four nice Akuli, and I'm very excited to be handing these off uh, to John John, who helped me here in Hawaii uh, with, you know, letting me borrow his rod and showing me how to dunk um, and catching even a papillo. So I'm gonna hook him up with these and uh, real excited to be concluding the trip with a bag of fish. So all in all, after catching those four Akuli on the TFO Traveler Rod, um, I got nothing but great things to say. This rod has been solid for me. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, it works and feels like a one-piece rod and uh, absolutely loved it. I just had a little hook on there and then down at the end, I 
have this white hammer bomb. And that hammer bomb was what was getting me all my fish at the end of the night. Um, it lights up in the water and that flash and flicker, um, I think definitely helped uh, get some fish. So this is gonna conclude the trip here and my first experience with the TFO Traveler Rod. We actually leave tomorrow. Um, so it'll be very easy for me to just quickly break down that rod. Again, it's just three pieces, throw it back in the rod tube, put it in the bottom of my suitcase, and I didn't have to stop anywhere uh, to go and get a whipping rod. So um, great little rod, my first review on it, I would say absolutely A plus, and it helped me uh, reel in some saltwater akuli. So I uh, can't be too mad about that. So check out the Traveler Rod on TFO's website. Um, excellent, excellent rod for any sort of trip that you're going on. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in more relatable content, you can check out these videos right here. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe down below so you can stay updated on our next adventures.